let's look at select as struct in this particular case uh, in previous two videos we looked at how to create the structure object and how to create the array object and now what we'll do is use that again we'll type select as struct and after that we can specify the value let's say it's an integer one and the name of column after that another value we can give let's say two and the name of column is b if we run this particular statement we in the output what we get is output with one record uh, and it has two values one for each column we have columns a and column b column a has value of one column b has a value of two now we can layer this so we can uh, say combine them with a union all and like so we can create a second record or second row where we have values as 11 and 22 instead of 1 and 2 for columns a and b when we now run this what we get in the output is uh, as we can see we get the row columns a and b along with the output with two records 1 2 and 11 12 additionally what we can do along with this is we can use array to preserve the structure like a dictionary type structure of this particular row and to do that what we need to do is specify array and let's do this I'm going to go back go back uh, let's say go back one more and delete this leave this as is and before this we are going to specify an array so select array and open close parenthesis we specify the select as structure when we run this what we get in the output is the familiar dictionary within a square brackets that is dictionary within an array so the dictionary has two key value pairs a with value of one b with value of two and likewise we if there are multiple select statements inside an array it will create multiple dictionaries for example if we have a union all inside of this and uh, this along with this is another select statement select as structure and here we have the values 11 for a and 22 for b then what we would have is instead of just one dictionary inside of this array we would have two dictionaries and the second dictionary we would have the values of 11 and 2 for keys a and b so that's how the select as struct works if you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you.